for digital lab we are going to see which kind of app can be used to do the experiment using the mobile phone so go to play store type digital circuit simulator and you can find the first one with a small I see like a structure with like a various number of pins so logic circuit simulator pro so this one which I could uh, find the best one for doing the experiment and also I've gone through the various uh, uh, apps which is available uh, so download logic circuit simulator pro so since I've already downloaded I'm going to open this now so this is how it is going to display our uh, various thing but initially before we go into the uh, lab session we want to know the logic gates the symbol of the logic gates the true table of the logic gates so before we go into the projects we want to learn the gates so for example if we want to know the gate operation of and so here they are given the clear description that what the AND gate is and the truth table and also they are given the equivalent circuit in terms of a transistor as plus resistance so likewise you can go through all the gates all the basic gates which is required for our circuit simulations OR gate, XOR gate, NOR gate, NAND etc etc so these are our things these are our gates and the switch button can be the two set of inputs can be used for our uh, digital lab circuits and this light can be used our output and SR flip-flop or JK flip-flop D, D, T, SR, JK these are all our various experiments so mostly I think we can cover we can able to cover around 50 to 60 percentage of our syllabus using this mobile app okay let's start with a small project demo So I have done various projects in this. Let me go through how to start our simulation work. So basic things which we are going to use is like, so this square box shape is like a breadboard, breadboard structure. This is nothing but our workspace here. So here only we are going to place all the components and the connect, uh, connecting all the components so that we can apply the input and we can find what is our output for that. So so for getting the components you can see in the bottom right most corner a and like symbol so from where we can able to see the what are the components are available so the gates inputs outputs the connection wire and the three input uh, gates generator constants latches ICs programmable data selector delays and what are the devices which are available so let me start with the basic AND gate operation so if you want to select any uh, respective component you can just uh, click on to that respective gates for example now I'm going to select AND gate I just uh, pressing the AND gates so the respective component has been added in the workspace area next I want to test my OR gate also so I'm going to just press the OR gates so it has been added in the workspace area now just press on the workspace area you can zoom also now you can see that uh, the, the two difference of color like one with uh, like a green color and the other one is like a black in color which means that now the OR gate has been selected now so now you can touch the OR gate and you can drag anywhere in your workspace so this can be done with the help of your finger so now I'm going to touch the AND gate now I can move the AND gates anywhere just by touching your uh, AND gate you can drag it anywhere okay so now I'm going to place now again for the movement of uh, OR gate I'm going to just touch it and uh, move now I both the components are placed in a straight line now we need an input so here we have like a two set of inputs so AND gate as well as OR gate have two inputs we will take it as a, a as well as B now so for selecting two inputs again go to the component we have inputs name so let me uh, choose the component called as a switch so I need two switches so I'm going to press one more time so two switches are added in the workspace so now the green color is enabled so just press the green color switch and drag it 
and a place near the one of the gates and the second input just press it once the if it is enabled with the green color you can drag it and just place it straight to the respective component now we need an output so i want to find what is the output so let me choose uh, two different uh, outputs so again go to the component for the outputs i'm going to choose the light so let me add one more uh, output so now drag the bulb which is green in color to the output of and gates now drag the or gate to the output of or gates okay now we just placed all the components in the workspace now now we need to connect a wire before this so for connecting the wire now you can see in the top like uh, starts from scroll single now it is available single means we are going to place the respective component moving dragging in or around your workspace and uh, next is the uh, touch i'll show it now for getting the wire connection you can see like a node like a structure now i have pressed uh, the connection area which connect nodes mode is activated now just by pressing that now we are going wire is been enabled now now i want to connect the and gate one of the input terminal to the switches so for connection this just touch the node so i just touched one node and to where i want to have the connection to one of the input switches and just touch to the respective switch area so the wire have been connected automatically similarly i'm going to connect the second input of the and gate to the second uh, switch so just to press at node one of the node of and gate then where i'm going to have the connection to the switch 74 just press the node of switch 74 so the connections are made automatically so now i have connected two switches to the inputs of the and gates now to the same a and b that is the switch 75 and 74 i'm going to give the same input to the or gate also so what we can do the same procedure just press at one of the node so this is the first node represents my switch 75 so just to touch the uh, point of uh, switch so we had a connection similarly now the second node of or gate i want to connect to the switch 74 so just to connect it here so i had a connection so connections of wire is very simple just you're going to touch that respective node now i want to connect the output of the and gate and or gates to the bulb so just to touch the output of the and gate to the bulb node so connected similarly the output of the or gates to the bulb are connected now the connection is over so here we cannot find any flaws in connection while we are doing in a hardware experiment surely there will be a flaw since this is like a circuit uh, simulation oriented through uh, or app or a software oriented here the error will be very very less now i want to run this program now so for running this i want to give an input so for selecting the input we have to go use the uh, terminal called touch so now press touch okay so before that we want to know the true table logic so what is the AND gate? AND gate is nothing but the multiplication of the two inputs. So when any one of the inputs are 0, the output is 0. Similarly, when both the inputs are 1 only, we are going to get the output as a 1. 1 means it is a high state. And similarly, the OR gate logic is nothing but it is an addition process. So when any one of the input is high, the output is going to be high. When both the inputs are high, the output is going to be 1 okay so if any one of the input is going to be high my output is going to be high that is the or get logic so first i'm going to make one switches on so you can see the pathway where the high output is traveling over so and get logic is if any one of the input value is zero the output is zero so there is no uh, light glow in the bulb of and gates but in the OR gate bulb, there is a on, on state conditions, which means that one of the input is on state, that is a high state. So my output is also high states. Now, if I make this as zero, both are zero. Now I'm going to make the other switches to be on condition. So similar to the AND gate, where I have one of the input as a zero, so the output is zero. Whereas for the OR gate, one of the input is a high state, so the output is a high state now. Now, when I make both the inputs as a 1 and 1, that is when both the inputs are high states, AND gate output as well as OR gate outputs are high states. So, this is how we are going to make a connections.